Give Derek a huge round of applause. I have my official pastor iPad here. <laughs> um, I, today I want to talk to you guys about multiplication over addition, which is one of our key values here, and uh, really being a producer and not just some people. Um, some of you will get that right now, some of you will get that later. Um, <laughs> addition, some basic definitions. Uh, addition is the act or process of being something to something, adding something to someone synonym actually is introduction. Uh, multiplication, uh, I'm using the organism biology definition, is in, to increase in number by reproducing. Um, if To follow along with our theme so far in the last couple of weeks, uh, I want to talk about horses. Uh, in husbandry, uh, let's say that this guy George has a mare, which is a female horse, George decides he wants to start breeding horses. And uh, not being a terribly wise person, George decides to buy a second mare. And uh, needless to say, he doesn't get anywhere. Uh, and out of frustration, uh, he calls his friend Francis. And Francis, being incredibly wise, says, You idiot! You should have bought a stallion. And so George smacks himself in the face. Soon he has a thriving horse farm. And uh, as Christians, we tend to bring our friends, our Christian friends to church. And that's a lot like buying a second mayor. Uh, that would be an addition. And uh, we, we need to be multipliers. So we need to start bringing our non unsaved friends and, and developing our unsaved friends and bringing them and really multiplying in the kingdom. And that, that's what God calls us to do. And uh, there are kind of three, not steps, but things we should know when we start to, when we want to multiply over and adding. Uh, we ourselves must be healthy spiritually, uh, actively pursuing God's word, not just coming and hearing sermons and, and uh, even being part of the community, which is good. Those are good things, but we need to be ourselves pursuing those and uh, take everything back to scripture. Um, we must also have people in our circles of influence that are not Christians, which seems contrary sometimes, but uh, I actually asked for deep in a long time ago, not a long time ago, but I asked for deep in once, what was the, what's the best advice you can give to avoid becoming a Pharisee? And that's to have people who aren't saved in your circles of influence. I mean, it's a lot easier to invite unsaved people if you know unsaved people. be actively pursuing our soul, their souls. Uh, we must be inviting them consistently, even if they say no, praying and interceding for them. And when, if they come to Jesus, we then teach them to do the very same. And uh, so Momentum's purpose is to uh, bring young adults into thriving relationships with Jesus Christ and one another. And uh, if you're here attending Momentum, especially if you're here regularly, you are Momentum. So that is your purpose. Your purpose is to be uh, growing each other, growing ourselves, and thriving relationships with God and Jesus Christ and one another. So start multiplying. <laughs> Don't just be a some person. <laughs>